Hey, what's up everybody? Kyle Buckland here with the Artful Souls. Uh, we're going to be doing a harbor scene today. I'm going to devote two-thirds of the canvas to the water. Um, the reflections in this piece is uh, really what attracted me to the scene. So um, sometimes it's a good idea to ask yourself, you know, what is it that you're interested in in the scene and then devote a good portion of the canvas to that. So um, start by just kind of laying in some, some main values here, establishing my drawing. Now notice when I lay in the sky and the water that I start with warm tones, then come back and put some cooler greens and blues over top. Uh, you'll notice that especially here in the water. So I'm interested in getting the values correct, but I'm starting with very warm tones like oranges and reds. Then I come back here with these cooler blues and greens and even uh, shifting towards some purples down near the bottom of the canvas. Um, this is going to create a little bit of color vibration in that area. Um, so a lot of times I see students they'll just go in straight in with the cool blues and greens um, and those areas tend to be a little cold and kind of flat looking as opposed to getting some of those warm tones down first. So um, now it becomes uh, kind of a uh, a trick here, the, well the trick is to really kind of balance, you know, giving the, the viewer enough information, enough visual information to um, decipher what's going on without overdoing it. Um, you really have to simplify in a scene like this, there's a lot of uh, busy details um, that we can sub, uh, kind of subdue a little bit. And um, so, you know, looking at boats and houses and objects like that, you want to get the drawing um, fairly correct. So, uh, you know, I, I encourage people to paint quickly and to paint boldly, but I always say don't paint any quicker than you can paint correctly. So, you know, make sure you're, you're getting the drawing uh, on these boats, especially, you know, for example, right here where these two boats with the blue awnings, this is where the eye is going to end up. So, um, you know, I want to use this area where these light boats are silhouetted against that darker wall, kind of as an anchor for your eye um, in the composition. That's, that's where I want the, the viewer's eye to end up. And so, You'll see how I have other points of interest around that that move your eye around the painting, but ultimately your eye ends up back at those boats. Um, so even like the post on the far left and its reflection, um, they grab your eye and keep your eye from going off the left of the canvas and kind of coming back around. So, um, But again, uh, you know, I'm really trying to balance <clears throat> putting in enough detail without overdoing it. So. You know, I pick out a few areas like like around that those boats with the blue awnings and and can delineate a little bit more detail, um, and then we can let the rest of the boats uh, just sort of be suggested in there. So that's a great tip. I always say if you're if you're painting, for example, if you have a field with a bunch of cows in it, you only have to paint one cow and you can suggest the rest. So if I take my time and do some uh, some you know more detailed painting right around a few boats, and then I can just let the rest kind of be. Uh, boat shapes, but I don't have to get in there and do all the all the details. So a lot of times after signing my painting, I'll come back after a couple minutes and, and get a fresh look at it and just kind of fix a few things that were bugging me. In this case, it was I had to tone down some areas on the left there and uh, that were kind of pulling your eye over. Uh, I wanted to keep your eye going over towards the right side of the painting, so I toned down those areas. This will help keep your eye focused on the the main center of interest, which are the the, the boats over you know, silhouetted against that dark wall there. So you can see how a lot of the lines in the composition point towards that area in the painting too where the with the boats with the blue awning. So um, thanks so much for, for tuning in here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you can give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, my, this painting entitled Harbor Rhythms is available on my website kylebuckland.com I'll also uh, link in the description for my Patreon page if you want to become a Patreon member. Thanks for watching.